What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Nick from Real Talk Digital. So a lot of clients have been asking me recently about engagement. Nick, how often should I be engaging with, uh, with my followers on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, whatever social media platform um, that you're staying active with? And my initial reaction is obviously as much as possible, but we do need to be a bit realistic. It's nice to have a target. And um, this target is, or the target that I'm gonna share with you is not my target. It's something I've definitely ripped off and stole from, um, from Gary Vaynerchuk. So I'm gonna take you through uh, his explanation for something called the dollar 80 rule, which I've been using. And as a result, I've been growing our engagement. I've been, we've been growing our followers uh, on Facebook. We just broke the 20,000 follower mark. Um, our focus right now is gonna be Instagram. Our goal is to grow from um, you know, from just over a thousand followers to over 10,000 followers in the next couple of months, which I'm sure we're going to do. And then we'll probably put an initiative in place for LinkedIn. But check out this simple rule. Um, it's a simple strategy. And I'll even share with you a pretty cool tool that I'll leave a link for in the, uh, in the description. Okay. So the rule that we're going to be following is called the dollar uh, the dollar eighty rule, and you're probably wondering what does this mean? The dollar eighty rule. Well, keep this in mind. Anytime you're engaging your audience, anytime you're commenting on people's posts, anytime you're liking something, commenting, replying, asking questions in comments, um, following particular hashtags, and, and joining different conversations. Again, whether it's Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, wherever your audience is going to be, you are giving people your two cents. Okay. So Gary Vee literally took this two cents idea. Um, we'll erase this real quick. Okay. And he says, Hey, listen, give people your two cents. Okay. But try to do it close to 90 times per day. Now, I don't know why it didn't just go to 100 times per day, but for whatever reason, he went to 90, okay? And if you're gonna interact with people 90 times a day, what do you have? Dollar 80. So what you wanna do is you wanna follow the dollar 80 rule, which is give people your two cents 90 times a day, equaling a dollar 80. Now there's a really cool app that we've been using for the last few months called dollar80.com, which actually will sync up with your Instagram. It's a great little tool. It'll allow you to follow different accounts, different hashtags, and it will just make the, the process of commenting and engaging super duper fast. Now let's talk about what type of engagement you need, okay? Now, these are the types of engagement that you're going to want. So the type of that so the type of engagement that you're going to want is going to be likes, comments, and DMs, okay? Now, what I would say if you wanted a good mix, if you have to break it down to a metric, I would say 90% comments, 5% DMs, and 5% likes. Now, simply hitting like on 90 people's posts is not going to be your money maker. It looks very spammy, number one, and although it's efficient, it's, it's going to get picked up by Instagram and there's a good chance you will get banned. So you want to click on like. Um, occasionally, but really where you, where your money's going to be is going to be inside of comments guys. Okay. You want to be starting as many conversations within comments as possible. Okay. Feel free to, if someone has made a statement about business, about business marketing that you don't like, feel free to disagree with it. Okay. That's going to spark up conversation. As you spark up conversation, you're going to have a little back and forth with other business owners with other people in a particular audience. And as a result, what's going to happen, they're going to follow you. They want to tango with you. Now, if you do this enough, what you're going to find is you're going to establish like this kind of digital rapport with people online. Sometimes people you don't even know or will ever know, they might even be on a different continent. Okay. And that's where if the conversation, um, 
If the conversation is long enough and you do enough of a back and forth, that's when you want to lead that into a DM and just say what's up. Okay. You do not want to be sending cold DMs. You do not want to be sending DMs asking people to follow you. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, if you walk into a networking uh, event, you walk into a network event at a beautiful restaurant, you're not going to start walking up to people and handing out your business card. That's not what you do. You have conversations, you connect with people. Um, and then as a result, through those conversations, eventually you start to build friendships. Okay. You establish this great rapport, you establish this great trust. And as a result, you start staying top of mind for the particular industry that you're in and uh, what happens eventually, um, you get more business. That's the idea of networking, right? Well, you want to use that same approach with digital marketing, okay? You don't want to walk into Instagram or into an Instagram comment thread and just start asking people for business. That's not what you're going to do. You're not going to just start asking people to follow you. That's not what you're, uh, that's not what you're going to do. And in fact, if you do that enough, Instagram could ban you. They pick up on spammy, uh, spammy conversations. Their algorithm is pretty smart. And I've seen plenty of businesses get banned. Now using a tool like $1.80, we're a big fan of it, but um, keep in mind the conversations need to be genuine. They need to be real. Um, if you're commenting, do not cut and paste the same comment. $1.80 has that as a tool. I suggest you don't use it. Um, if you check out my comments, every single comment that I make is going to be unique every single day. If I'm on someone's thread and I like their posts and I comment on 10 of their posts, every single comment is going to be unique. I want to approach this if I'm speaking to another human being. So guys, that's the $1.80 approach. Likes, comments, DMs. Keep your comments at about 90% of, of, the, of the mix. DM should be something you lead into. It's about 5% of the mix. And then you want to throw up the occasional like. So that's your $1.80 engagement rule. Now, if you're wondering how often you should do this, again, to summarize, you should be doing engagement as much as possible. It's not something I suggest that you outsource. I wouldn't suggest it. I've seen too many Instagram accounts get banned because they've outsourced to some big factory of, um, of people that are just, you know, you're paying them for social engagement and what happens, they're using uh, canned uh, uh, and templated responses um, and your Instagram gets banned. So you wanna put in that work if it's something that is important to you. If you're happy with the size of your audience, I guess you don't really need to worry about it. So guys, this is Nick with Real Talk. If you need any help growing your social, check us out on Instagram at Real Top Digital, and I'll see you later. Thanks.